Hello everyone, welcome back to Marty Motoring. Today we're gonna do a requested video which is bring my supercharged Lexus IS350 to the drag strip and also see if it's faster than this Jaguar F-Pace SVR. So we have some quarter mile times with this car. In my previous uh, ISF racing video, we beat the ISF and we got quarter mile times, but they were kind of uphill, two guys in the car. It wasn't a really real world time. So we're going to an actual track to see what this can put down. This SUV is 550 horsepower supercharged V8 and it's all wheel drive. So it's gonna launch really well. And this is 430 wheel horsepower and so about 500 crank and uh, it's rear wheel drive, but it's a lot lighter. So it'll be kind of interesting to see the comparison between the vehicles, but really to see what time this can put down. So this car has been supercharged for just about a year, has about 3000 miles on it. It's kind of been tested and put through its paces. Uh, so it should do pretty well. Uh, it did beat the ISF, like I said, and that kind of surprised me. So maybe we'll get surprised. I'm hoping for at least in the 12 second range, the quarter mile time, not that it really matters. This is really just for fun. This isn't the most fast performance car and it's definitely not a drag racing car. We're just gonna do it for fun. This Jaguar belongs to Steve Hammerdown Motorsports. It is a very quick and nice luxury SUV. Um, this is just something we wanted to do for fun. This is no, by no means a uh, even comparison. I mean, this, these aren't even in the same market, uh, but he has hammered on motorsports. This is his shop. You might've seen it on the channel before. Got the Ram Rebel and a bunch of other vehicles. But today we're gonna be focusing on the F-Pace SVR to see what it can do against the Lexus IS350. So we got my helmet that I haven't used in three years, uh, but is required for the track. Got the cameras. But we're gonna start up the cars and see which one sounds better. And definitely drop your comments in the comment section below which one sounds better. So I wanted to talk about the fate of the IS350. Now it's true, I listed this car for sale, made some social posts about it, uh, that I wanted to sell it for around 25,000. And that was more of a feeler. I mean, I really like this car, uh, but I think I do wanna try to get something else. I had enough fun with this project and it's proven itself to be solid now to where I would be comfortable with selling it to somebody else and they can have a lot of fun with it now that it's solid. And uh, this is kind of a performance test if anybody's interested in the car to see what it can do. Like I, I wanna show you what it can do, what these cars are capable of. Um, I'm not really sure if that's if it's good or bad, what it compares to, but this can give people an idea of what this car can do. Now it does zero to 16 about 4.4 seconds. That's decent. And it is a little bit faster in roll racing than a ISF with a tune and a cat back. The ISFs are known to be decently quick. And now we're gonna see what it can do at the drag strip. 
The only thing I really didn't get the test with this car is like on a track. I, I think from when talking to RR Racing, I think maybe some more upgrades might need to be done like an LSD and maybe a transmission cooler just for those longer track sessions. Uh, with this upgraded transmission, it does run a little bit hotter than normal and it's not anything unsafe but that is something to keep track of and be aware of. So like I said, it's very humid out here. It's hot, it's you know the middle of August, but we're gonna go to the drag strip, see what we can do. But I did wanna just talk about that. The car will be for sale very shortly. Uh, I may do an auction on cars and bids. That's kind of what I was leaning towards, uh, just to kind of get the project out of my hands into a new ownership so that I can move on to the next project. I have really been wanting an F, we're gonna see if I can make that happen, a GSF, something like that, uh, just cause I like that V8 sound, but this car has been so fun. I think it's just time to move on, next chapter of my life. I recently turned 30 and I have a newborn girl, so I'm just kind of looking out uh, for the future. So with that being said, let's have some fun with this car. And here we are at Maple Grove Raceway in, I guess, Moton, Pennsylvania is technically where it's at. It's just a bunch of farms out here and uh, can't wait to see what this thing can do. So we're here now at the track. We got both cars here, tech inspected, ready to go, uh, ready to race. Just kind of letting this cool off. Letting my car cool off, got the hood open. SVR is ready to go. It's a nice interior you got there. So we've been waiting for like an hour and a half, almost two hours. I guess there was some kind of issue on the track, but we are finally in the staging lanes and moving up so that we'd be able to race. So hopefully we can at least get one run in. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wasn't the greatest reaction, but we definitely got to try to go again. All right, I think this can hear me. I got a 12.4 at 115 miles per hour. So we did our first run. Steve got a 12.8 at I think 122 miles per hour. And as you saw or heard maybe, I got a 12.46 at 115. That's actually pretty good. I wanted a 12.5, so we, we've definitely gotten that. Uh, gonna see what I can do this time though. All right, there was a huge delay and we're finally going. So this is where things got really interesting. I drive onto the track just like I did before. Uh, I go through the water. The guy is waving me on. As you can see, he never says stop, never says you know hand motions, or at least I'm not seeing it because at that point I'm already launching. So I do a little spin, just get the water off of the tires. I don't need that, I'm on street tires. And so I go up, I try to stage. I realize my hood is open. There's an alert on the dash, but I know it's latched. I know it's not gonna fly off most likely. Then this guy comes up, he's very angry. He's like, get back, get back. They're all, they're all very angry. Even though the lane was clear, the guy waved me on, somehow now this is my fault. And uh, then this other guy comes up to yell at me. He said go. He told you to stop. That means you stop. 
I definitely get the safety aspect of things, but that's no way to treat somebody, especially on a test in two night, and especially a, a novice. Like, this is my third, fourth time drag racing. I'm not that good at it, and your guy signaled me on. So, that's just a little unwelcoming and unprofessional on their part. At this point, the same guy that never told me to stop waves me on. I give him a little wave, and I say, thanks. You know, I'm just going to keep my cool, and I'm going to get this over with. I try to stage up, it never turns green. I'm waiting for it, I'm waiting, and it just, it never came. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go to the end of the track, get this over with so I can head out of here. In the moment, I didn't realize Steve wasn't lined up. I didn't really look at his lights, so I just went for it. And I probably actually did a pretty good pass. Like, I'm not sure what the timing would have been, but it looks almost as quick, if not quicker. But we'll never know because this was not time. Look out for the bad boy in the blue Lexus. And maybe it was just me, but even the guy at the end seemed really mad. Like the way he was telling me to slow down and pointing. It was just time for me to leave, and unfortunately, there's no time for this run, but hey, I'll take the 12.4. Next day, I'm back in the garage, and I'm realizing I need a haircut. I'm not gonna let that bad experience sour the whole thing for me. It was still a fun time. I still got a good time on the car, and if I was a little bit lighter, probably 100 pounds lighter, I feel like the car would probably got a, would get closer to a 12, but I'll take a 12.4, that's good enough for me. I am like 280 pounds and like six foot one, so I'm a pretty big guy. Uh, somebody that's like, you know, 180 pounds, I feel like with a better reaction time, the car would be a lot faster. So with that being said, there's a lot of factors that go into drag racing. And uh, even though the experience was bad there at the end, I'm still happy I got the 12.4 and got an official time for this car, showing what it can do and just having kind of my last bit of fun with it before I do decide to part ways with it. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, follow along. There's always more stuff coming. And as always, keep those wheels turning. So long. Oh